this video, we're going to take a look at an individual derivative. It's just going to be a straight product rule, one that would be found in a Calc 1 class. So the first thing we'll do here is f prime of x. All right, implementing that product rule, we're going to leave the first term. So e raised to the x squared. All right, and then we will take the derivative of the second one. So if we want to utilize that ddx notation, all right, many beginning Calc 1 students will do this. Leave the first one times the derivative of the second. So we'll not actually take the derivative in this step. We'll just show that we're going to do this with our product rule. We leave the second function alone. And then we take the derivative of the first function. Okay, that, that line right there can be very, very helpful for that beginning, one, uh, beginning Calc 1 student. Just so that we know, okay, what are we taking the derivative of? What are we not? All right, now on the second line, I will actually start to take that derivative. I'll have that e raised to the x squared. All right, taking the derivative here, we've got memorized the derivative of tangent is secant squared. It is going to have a chain. So we'll go ahead and do that ddx notation in this as well. So we will take the derivative of the outside function, secant squared, leave the inside part alone, and then include the chain, so take the derivative of that inside part. Okay, we're going to leave this function alone, tangent of 3x. Okay, on this one again, the derivative of e to the u, again, is e to the u, u prime. So we will show that here with uh, e to the x squared, and then the u prime or the chain taking that derivative there of the x squared. Okay, derivative here is going to be a 3, and I'm going to put it in the front, so I'll have a 3 e x squared secant squared of 3x. And then taking the derivative here, I'm going to have a 2x, so we'll put this in the front, and we'll also put this in the front. So I'll put that 2x in the front, we'll have the e raised to the x squared, and then we'll have the tangent of 3x. Okay, you can just leave it like that if this were going to be a problem where you would need to find those critical points and move on maybe even into curve sketching, you would want to probably factor this to make those finding those critical points a little bit easier. But just for a straight derivative, you can leave it just like that. And like I said, utilizing this ddx notation will help prevent you from dropping chains. All right, and we'll also help you remember just the order of that product rule. Definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.